Oh crap, we have no brakes. We have no brakes whatsoever. We're gonna turn our engines all the way down. I don't even think we'll be able to land. What's up guys, this is multi 24 gaming and I am here with another Extreme Landings Flight Simulator video. So, you can guess which uh, plane we're going to be using this time, it's called the Old Glory, or the OG-60VA, and I did not memorize that, it's written right here. Anyway, oh, we can actually learn about it, oh, nope, never mind, guess not. Regardless, we are here, and this is a fairly new update, um, no, extremely amazing update, regardless. We are going to be doing the flight simulator with high failure rate. And what we're going to do is we are not going to be in Korea this time as we were with our big airplane. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be flying in South America over the Andes. So we're going to add that there and we're going to zoom in on my max trackpad. Whoa. Okay. And click here. Now we're not going to make it a far flight because just this is for the sake of learning. But I shall teach you how to do everything you need to know. So confirm that. I like random weather because it just gives you something, whatever whatever it feels like. Um, all right, and now we're gonna hit takeoff and we're gonna start at the airport. So here we are in who knows where, South America, somewhere. That's a continent. It's a fairly big area. Regardless, we are in the cockpit of this airplane and we are going to fly passengers from here over some mountains to um, uh, somewhere else in South America. Regardless, here's a deal that I want to uh, establish. Last video, we were using my extremely fat airplane, and I did it in two little clips, like I edited a bit out because um, something went wrong. What ended up happening was there was no sound um, on the part of the game, so you could not hear the game. Um, in this this one, you will be able to hear the game, I hope. And now laugh at me in the comments if there ends up not being any sound. Um, we will see. But I would like you to go to the last video. I should have a link somewhere. You'll find it if you're smart. Um, or just go to my channel. It'll be the uh, video uploaded before this one. Uh, and uh, see whether you like it without me, uh, without the sound in the background more, or with the sound in the background. Please let me know, because um, it can get loud. They are, they, these are airplane engines, and Soundflower is a little weird. Thank you for bearing with me through that. Um, anyway, we have a new setup here. It's kind of weird looking. Um, it's an old airplane. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do is don't mess with these. These will um, extinguish uh, your um, engines and make them useless. You're gonna click all of these, get them started. And my hotkeys for those is Y, U, I, O. And if you're on an iOS device, you just click them. So I can do that. And then here, what you're going to do is you're going to have it like select whichever engine you feel like, right? So you'll click it. And then you hold this down, right? And it will be spinning. And what you do is you'll let go. And it starts. Now my hotkeys for those are H. H will change these. And then J, I'll hold down. So I'll use these. Okay, H. Alright, and we are all set and ready to go. So, what we're not going to do, I'm going to just repeat a lot of things. What we're not going to do is we're go not going to um, start the plane up from here because our plane will be doing loop-de-loops uh, as one engine will be uh, pushed to the max and the others will be idle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to basic fly, and my hotkey is Q, and we are going to use that to take off. And so, um, yep, here we go. And this plane likes to take off around probably about 150, 160, depending on, uh, depending on the wind and stuff, but... Uh, sometimes, I, I loaded it with fuel and also passengers, so it may be later. We'll see, though. Uh, this plane does take a long time, so try not to pick a short runway when it comes to uh, taking off with this plane. Like, I know Gibraltar is definitely not the runway that you want to be using. Alrighty. 
now let's just take a nap and then maybe by the time you wake up we'll be at the end of the runway. Whoa, this is not working. Okay, wow, that lifted up really quickly, 120 knots, wow, that's impressive. All right, the gear is up, uh, you, that right there's the gear, the flaps are up, speed brake, we are going to have problems with the airplane, so we're not exactly sure what those are going to be yet, but I'm sure we'll find out the hard way. And our plane will give us a lovely alarm telling us. We're going to go up to about 2,000 feet, alright, and I'll show you how to do the, um, I'll show you how to do the autopilot. So you can hit, um, we're going to go up to map here, and as you can see, this is where we're going to try and land. And our plane is already headed in that direction. What we're going to do is we're going to click here just to keep uh, the plane at 3,000 feet. You can adjust it accordingly by clicking and dragging. Uh, we have an alarm, so speed. Uh, we, oh, we have no idea how fast our plane is going. Okay, that's a problem. ASY is also another problem. It looks like we have fuel issues. Uh, all right. Anyway... To make sure the plane doesn't veer off course, you're going to use this, and you're going to click and drag it to the direction it needs to be, so about that. And uh, you won't be able to change the direction, so look, I can't steer uh, while it's in that, while it's doing that, um, because the autopilot has, uh, is, uh, takes everything over. So we're flying away from the city here, and we're going to go over this little patch of mountains. A little, <laughs> as I say. And we are then going to land over there. Okay, um, thankfully it's telling us so that our tires are flat now and not a little bit later. But, um, yeah. So we'll, we'll just hang out here. Uh, we have everything we need so far. And, uh, let's check. I'll show you some of this stuff. This will show you, like, uh, how level you are with the ground. Um, it's got like the little fluid in there uh, right here shows you like if you're in line with the runway which as you can see we are the arrow needs to be within the purple thing uh, these will unlock your tires if they decide to lock up uh, and not come down and it is not very good when your tires don't decide not to come down that usually does end up in a catastrophe uh, what the heck did oh these are the rudders uh, my hotkeys for those are V and N um, alright, and here you can change the weather, but right now I'm just going to leave it as a clear night, because I like clear nights. And what, something else you can do is hit time, and what that'll do is that will speed up the plane, so it'll like speed up time, so your plane will go way faster, and all these adjustments will happen way quicker. What you don't want to do is click that when, um, you don't want to click that when you have faults on, as you can see, we're having another fault. See, what would happen is we're ru we've run out of fuel here. So what we got to do is we got to do that. As you can see, we've run out of fuel on this side. So we're going to transfer some fuel over. Or do I transfer the fuel this way? We've lost, like, capability of both of those engines. It's a little hard to tell with these dials. But um, we're going to have to turn our engines back on while flying. As you can see, these two, um, these two are gonna balance out, and that's what we want. And also, we're also gonna run into some mountains if we're not careful. Okay, that seems about good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the elevation a bit so we don't end up crashing into any mountains. Um, and we're going to turn those two engines on again. So, four, uh, oops, that's not the right one. Alright, so one. We now have fuel to supply to them, so it's not a problem. There we go. Good. There we are. And we're pretty... Like, as you can see, the Andes are the huge mountain range. They're the second largest in the world, I think. Um, second to the Himalayas, and under that is the Alps. So we're actually going to make the plane go even higher to uh, 12,000 feet, maybe? Oh my gosh, we got a serious leak. If it's already... Okay, yeah, we've got problems. We're gonna probably have to fly without those two engines. 
no, what we're we're gonna like transfer all the fuel over here, because obviously there's a leak. A uh, leak. There's a leak over here. So if we just transfer fuel from over here to over here, what's gonna happen is that all that fuel's gonna leak, and we're gonna lose all that fuel. So uh, we can only hope that we'll get there on time. Otherwise, there's not really a way to turn around and go back. I mean, oh boy. Well, we'll see. Now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna risk and hit time. Whoa, okay, reverse, reverse. All right, obviously we're not gonna have our reverse capabilities. So, it'll let us know if a new alarm shows up. But right now it doesn't appear that we have any more bad things that are gonna happen to us. We're almost there, as you can see, I've sped up time. And hopefully we don't run out of fuel before we get there. Come on, come on, we got this, we got this. Oh boy, the fuel's going by super fast because we've sped up time. It took me a really long time to figure that out, why that was happening. It looks like we're going to make it, actually, though. With only two engines on one side. Alright, almost there, good. We're going to turn these off so we now have manual capabilities. And as you can see, we're extremely high up, so we're going to start our descent. Uh, let's just check this. Oh, looks like our fuel is fine. Okay. Alright, we're good for now then. We'll be able to land. We're gonna put our flaps down. And still go full speed down. Yep, looks like our... Oh, crap. We have no brakes. We have no brakes whatsoever. We're going to turn our engines all the way down. I don't even think we'll be able to land. This could end in a disaster. Best case scenario, what's going to happen is we will probably uh, crash. We'll just do our best to crash without um, without blowing the plane up. Therefore, there's a chance that people will be able to get out. I don't think I've got any parachutes. Oh, brother. Alright, we're going to start our descent way down because I didn't realize we wouldn't have any brakes. Flaps are fully down. We, I don't know if we'll be able to do this. But we can do our best, and that's, guess all that counts, right? doing that none of these brakes are going to end up working I just feel like I need to be doing something all right we're going to make a steep 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 descent now all of you people are saying everyone's going to be unconscious well yes they are but thankfully maybe they're not they're going to be all con unconscious but just maybe just maybe they're not all going to be dead and if we can do anything to prevent them from being dead we don't even know how fast we're going all right, we're going to speed up the plane a little bit. Gear down. There we go. That worked out. It's almost not worth, any, worth even having the engines on. Oh, don't talk to me, creepy low-voiced person. Alrighty. Almost there. Going as slow as we can. Um, I don't think we're going to make it. I'll speed up a bit. Yep, yep. Gonna do it. Oh, I see our sa shadow. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Alright, there we go, there we go. Now I cannot see the runway. Alright, there's the fence, there's the fence. We're gonna have to touch down as soon as we possibly can to be able to 50, stop in time. 40, 30, 20, 10. There we go. Ooh, that was hard. Alright, we got this, we got this. Our tires are flat too. We gotta use our rudders to keep us in place. Oh shoot. Oh boy. There, I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Everyone on this plane is gonna be fine. Whoa, this thing's hard to control. Whoa, whoa. 
the flat tires did help actually it helped stop us faster we did it guys we did it our pl everybody's not dead and the plane landed and we got over the Andes and we're here thank you guys so much for watching and next video I will be doing the business jet I've already done the Concorde that was back like almost a year ago uh, it's got a lot of views a lot of people hate me for it so um yeah uh, I'm gonna not do a Concord video unless you guys want me to let me know if you want me to or if I feel like doing another one then I will just do an extra you know one year later better Concord who cares anyway thank you guys so much for watching next video will be the business jet anyway see you guys bye